Hey everybody, we are going to be looking at a way to get the sound off your mobile device into Logic. We're going to be doing three things here. First of all, we're going to connect the iPhone to our computer. Second, we're going to go into our audio setup and actually get that going. And then number three, we're going to record into Logic. Woot. Okay, so first things first, we're going to use the cable version today. Now there's ways to do this wirelessly, but we are going to use the wired version just to demonstrate how that works. So that's number one. Plug it in using your cable into your computer. Once it is plugged in, then we are going to go over here to Audio MIDI Setup. You'll see that my phone is connected, but to make it work, we have to enable it. Once it's in enabled, shows up here. Nothing really to set here, it just tells you. But here we actually have the output and input. So, uh, so you can see that we can't go to the phone, but we can come from the phone. And it's a stereo, 24-bit, uh, 44.1 kilohertz, and no output. Okay, so once this is here, we can actually come into Logic now, and it shows up in our preferences. Uh, you can see here the input is the phone, and the output is the, the built-in output. That makes me uh, remember in here, inside the audio MIDI setup, because it shows up in this list, we can actually do multi-output or aggregate devices. We're going to look at those in a separate video a different time because I really like the aggregate devices option. Okay, so we have it in here. That means um, when I come into my phone, and I can't show you my screen because it's connected for the audio, has a hard time doing lots of things at once. But I have modular sent here. And that's coming right into Logic, so I can record that if I want. Okay, those are the different stages. Connecting the phone, enabling it in the audio MIDI setup, setting Logic to have it as an input, and then recording. Now as a side note, this is kind of interesting. If I go into my iTunes music on here, and I've tested this with protected music and non-protected, um, I can actually play this on my phone and record it into Logic. Just saying, kind of an interesting thing where you can record your music from your phone into Logic. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini, and I'll see you tomorrow.